I had some turbulence, but I worked things out. Wanta humpa, muri rava fupa chipampa wula, poya toka changa govtula do bata wana wanki, chobat i kafstuan pile jihulo kuta. We can only grow stronger through conflict against worthy foes. I've got your power core and a data pad with the location of the pirate hideout, Admiral. Anything else while I'm here? You made quick work of that motherless space trash. Well done. Now our troops can take the fight to them. I hate to interrupt, but the data suggests these components were from the ancillary, not main power core. That's... bad. We still kept part of the null cannon out of the pirate's hands. It can't be catastrophic. Worst case scenario? The pirates already have enough of the weapon to make it operational. You'll have to go into their base after it. Hit those sons of huts before they know we're coming. This sounds like something I could do. For a few more credits. You'll get them. I'll see to it personally. That data pad puts the pirate base inside a huge system of ice caverns not far from here. Half the scum in the galaxy will be in there. Chief Engineer Aram and a squad of Tals will be on your heels. Once the pirates are down, Aram will secure the Null Cannon for transport. It will be the mother of all fights. Good luck. They grow stronger through conflict against worthy foes.
Neither of us wants to get killed today, right? So why don't we talk this over? Nobody else in this place has wanted to stop and chat. My crew is a bit, um, over-eager at times. I'll speak to them about it, I assure you. The survivors, anyway. It so happens that I can give you what you came for without any more of that unpleasant killing business. You want the Republic super weapon? Look around you. This hangar is filled with copies of it. One for every ship in our fleet. You built copies of a Republic super weapon, and you think it's a good idea to admit it? Now you know what you're bargaining for. I propose a trade. You leave here with the weapons, and we leave here with our lives. That's fair, don't you think? Consider me signed on. My people will... Reinforcements have arrived! I see. Stalling until your people were ready to attack. The situation was under control. You didn't have to barge in here. Don't think we'll go quietly. So that could have gone better. Everything was under control until you barged in here. I'll admit that probably just earned me Tauntaun cleanup duty for the next month. I'd better call in and report. Aaron, that you? Heavy fire. It's a lot of interference. What status? Sir, we have the null cannon. But there's been a complication. What was the... Breaking up... Secure for immediate... Blast it! I can't get the signal back. Now what do we do? That made no sense at all. Try again. We had no idea the pirates had reverse-engineered the Null Cannon. The forces we have can just about hold this hangar long enough to get the prototype out of here, but the rest of these copies... The other pirates will get here soon, and once they have a weapon that can disable a capital ship, how many innocent people will die? I don't even want to think about pirates armed with null cannons. Neither do I. The only way to keep the copies out of the pirates' hands is to overload the null cannon prototype. Wipe out everything in the hangar at once. The prototype would be fried, but I'd rather spend months fixing it than live knowing that even one of these copies was left behind. You're right. We can't let even one of these copies fall into the wrong hands. Stand back. Do it. I'll go ahead and get the transport ready. I'll see you back at camp. The cloaker's inside, just past those guards. They've got the key code to get in. But these guys aren't too bright. I mean, they're used to Shy Tenna's barks, they jump. We should be able to put one over on them, no problem. I'll follow your lead.
Naya mem gim kalikam. Ke kua nam karak naya memak. Didn't anyone warn you guys about toffee and ice fever? No! I'm not sick! I, I am too young to die! Ah! Oh no! Everyone back up! If this is the ice plague, every drop of infected spittle contains enough virus to kill a dozen men! You got to be a hold up in Puerto Buru League? Kanam Chiwanemok, Hengam Yamanaya Angam. I've got the antidote, but it'll cost you. You'd better take it. There's only three doses left on Hoth because the Empire's blockading supplies, trying to wipe us out. Kimbong Kam, Namak Akalak Keku. Excal Hafamatin. Hand over the credits, open the door, and my associate will give you the cure. Thank you. Now step aside and turn around. The shot is administered to the posterior muscle group. Ice fever free. We weren't lying. Now, go in. The cloaker is in one of those cells. Sleep, sleep, my little one. Sleep like the setting sun. Rest your eyes and rest your cries, and I will see you when you rise. Trish, Trish, oh, starship, star, mama, oh god. Hush, love. The starships are fine. Get some sleep. Well, if someone had to find out, I'm glad it was you. You've tracked down our secret weapon. I'm guessing he takes after his dad? I let him call me Mama because it comforts him. I'm the only one who sees him as a child and not a tool. He's a kidonak. We call him Trick because that's what he says most often. Meet the White Maw's technological marvel. A poor brain-damaged child with a connection to the Force. When he's scared, he uses it to hide himself. It's his own bad luck the effect is powerful enough to extend over an entire fleet. The White Ma aren't big on hospitality. They're the ones who bashed in his skull. I nursed him the best I could, but his mind never came back. He can't use the Force consciously. It only works if he's terrified. So they torture him to keep him in a constant state of fear. Please, I've seen how you look at me. I can't tell you how long I've been waiting for a hero. You deserve better than a life of Shai Tenna's plaything. Hold me. Make me forget what it feels like when he touches me. <laughs> <laughs> 